Hello from Slovenia again. Today I'm working on 12 by 12 inch gallery wrap depatched canvas and I will do a reverse flower dip. But today I will do just circles. It's a lot of different ways to do those flower dips, reverse flower dips. You can do it with the uh, flower shaped cup, you can do it with draw some spirals, circles. Hello, you can see me in my black background because I already put my black background down. It's just a, a black oxide black mixed with my pouring medium and today I'm using again uh, working on the recipe for US products. I'm using some glue, some binder and water and I will mark the middle Okay, I'm back. So sorry, but real life happens. So I just cut though this uh, little cup uh, that it will not be so high because I have my paints in my squid bottles today uh, and this will be my uh, point to start with. And I will Start with uh, art creations mint. I didn't use the squeeze bottles for quite some time, so I will basically just try to go around here. And the next one is uh, Extreme Sheen Aqua. I'll just go right next to it. Don't mind if I have some black in the middle. And my circle is not a circle anymore. And next is um, Amsterdam Expert Series Taylor oh, Turquoise Don't have to be perfect circles Flowers are not perfect neither And next one is Amsterdam Turquoise I don't know if this is a good idea And pearl white, but it's Vallejo pearl medium mixed with titanium white and pouring medium. Okay, uh, so for the next part, I like to use uh, dump paper napkin, you don't need to, so I can remove this and I will draw some kind of lines with my stick or skewer. I will just go 
towards the sides. Maybe get some more of the effects, I don't know. We will see. And now I will go towards the middle. You can do this, you know, just and leave it like it is. You don't need to do a reverse dip. But I like flowers with that technique, so this is done and I will spray my napkin with some water just to soften it down a little bit. You don't need to, you can use a plastic, you can use a dry napkin. You just have to figure out what works for you the best. Okay. And now I will put the middle of my napkin in the middle of the flower, not in the middle of the canvas because normally it's not totally centered, at least with me. And why I'm more to napkins because it's easier to get out some air pockets that maybe you get when you put your towel, napkin, um, plastic, whatever you will use down. Okay. And now I will lift all my four corners and then four sides towards the middle. And I will try to keep it in the middle, if I can. the middle. Yay! I like it. And now I will torch And at this point you can decide if you like it, if you like more of the negative space, you just leave it or you can spin it out if you want to. But I did got some nice lacing and again it's not perfect and probably my last um, last one should be not the, the darkest one but um, I just changed my mind just before I started. I for, At first I wanted to do a bottle bottom pour and I had my order for the bottle bottom pour. So the order is important. For this one I would probably have to uh, finish it with some pearl white or extreme sheen to have uh, a lacing around but this will dry really dark so it will kind of fade in with the black background and my sides are good and my corners are good so I don't need to put any of the pouring medium around if you see some spaces that uh, your napkin pulls too much colors you 
can always add some it will level out so I will call this one done and I will clean my hands and take you down for a close-up so here it is a nice lacing from the white extreme sheen laced a little more and as you can see there was no paint in the middle but you still get this paint because you pull it from the sides towards the middle and you will cover the middle part anyway see and I like the middle I have to admit and I like that there is quite some negative space left because it doesn't need to be you know covered all over but as I said uh, if I would spin it out I will I would pour a little of my black around and spin it out and it would be a little bigger with some maybe I would just touch this a little bit because I think it's just way I will maybe just touch those little lines and this blue will be really dark so it will fade in kind of so this was a really easy fluid art technique to create a flower uh, and when I will perfect my pouring medium totally because we will see how this will dry because with the glue you can get some crackings maybe that's why I will wait and perfect it before I will reveal the, the entire recipe to all of you so stay tuned for the dry result so here is a close-up it's literally glowing I'm outside on the Sun and this extreme sheen is really beautiful and as you can see my dark blue is not there anymore <laughs> at all so it's turned out quite nice I think and I like that there is a lot of negative space so this is the flower from circles I like it it's like a morning glory or something so have a nice day and see you on the next one bye